most valuable thing that you own. Now, before we get too carried away, it's probably quite important that we define what we mean by valuable. So I'm talking about things like maybe a special toy that somebody gave you. Um, so maybe it's not worth a lot of money, but if you kind of lost it, you wouldn't be able to replace it. Or maybe actually it is money. Maybe it's something that's really valuable, and if you lost it, you'd be pretty worried. <coughs> you know what isn't very valuable? Rubbish. Like, you guys cannot tell me that you would honestly spend hours searching for a crumpled piece of blank paper. You just wouldn't. Rubbish isn't valuable. So today I want to tell you a story about valuable things that got lost and then found again. Today's story is from a book of the Bible called Luke. It's in chapter 15 and it involves 10 coins and a lady. Now the background on this story is it's actually called a parable and these are some special stories that Jesus used to use when he was trying to teach the guys who followed him around a little bit about how God's kingdom works. So anyway, back to our story about the lady and the coins. So imagine a lady had 10 coins, 10 silver coins. Now silver coins for us here in Australia, they're really not that valuable. Like if you lost 10 cents, it's probably not the worst thing that ever happened to you. But in Jesus' time, silver coins were quite valuable. And especially if you didn't have a lot of money, you desperately wouldn't want to lose your silver coins. So anyway, the story goes, the lady had 10 coins and all of a sudden she realized she'd lost one. Do you know what she did? She literally turned her house upside down trying to find this one lost silver coin. The Bible even tells us that in this story, Jesus was explaining that the woman would have searched all night trying to find this coin. And do you know what she did when she found it? The parable tells us that this lady was so excited to find her lost silver coin that she called up her friends and she was like, Oh my goodness, guys, I found my lost coin. Let's party. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Seems a bit over the top, a bit ridiculous to throw a party because you found a lost coin. In my brain, it's kind of like, yeah, cool. Like, it's kind of equivalent if I'd found this piece of paper. It's not that exciting. But that coin was really important to that lady in the story. Just like you guys probably have a favorite toy or something really special that if it got lost, you know that it couldn't be replaced. And you'd probably stay up all night trying to think about where that thing is. <laughs> For me, it's kind of like, imagine if I lost my wedding ring and my engagement ring. I'd feel really, really, really worried and stressed out until I found them again. So why does Jesus tell us this story? I'm so glad you asked. It might sound a bit strange, but actually in this story, you and I, we're the silver coin and God is kind of like the lady. Sometimes we kind of go off and do our own thing. We get a bit lost. We forget that God's always with us. But the great news is that God never forgets where we are. You see you, my friends, in J Rev land at home, you are valuable and we've already learnt that things that are valuable are worth searching for. Jesus was using this story to remind us that you are valuable, you are worth searching for, you are not a piece of rubbish. Even if you're feeling really lost and really lonely, God knows exactly where you are and he'll never throw you away like a piece of rubbish. So if you don't remember anything else from today, I want you to remember this. You are valuable. God thinks that you are valuable. So some of you might have some people in your life that maybe make you think sometimes like you're a piece of rubbish. I want to remind you that one of the best ways to remember how valuable you are is by talking to God and listening to his voice. So let's do that now. God, we thank you because you know us, you love us, and you know how valuable we are. 
We thank you because you always know where we are. And even when we're feeling really lost or really lonely, you're always with us. So help us to remember that. Amen.